Okay fam, so let's talk alcohol. So one of the main questions that I get asked all the time is, Sunny, can I drink alcohol on keto? And I usually respond with this, this guy blue. Yes, you can drink alcohol on keto, but there's some things you need to know before you start chugging alcohol and wine like a crazy person, okay? And this video is gonna educate you on what those things are. We're gonna break down what happens in your body when you consume alcohol on keto. And then we're gonna talk about some of my favorite types of alcohol to drink on keto and the best types of alcohol to drink on keto. So stay tuned for an amazing video. This is gonna be chock full of great information on how you can enjoy alcohol, stay in ketosis, and live a keto lifestyle. Stay tuned, guys. So this will be the first video in my series called Solar Eclipse. These are gonna be videos and topics that are gonna educate you about all things keto and anything else you wanna know in between. And so today's topic is literally my favorite topic in the entire world, alcohol. All right, so my thing about life in general is no matter what lifestyle you're living, whether you're doing keto, um, Paleo, Atkins, Weight Watchers, whatever you're choosing to do as your lifestyle, there are some things that you wanna maintain so that you can still enjoy life. And for me, being able to enjoy alcohol, being able to enjoy a glass of wine, a nice mixed drink actually keeps me sane. Okay, so let's break down what happens in your body when you consume carbohydrates. So whenever you consume carbs, your body is gonna break down those carbs into its most simple form, which we usually call glucose. Now, when your body has broken down that glucose, it uses that as an energy source. And any excess glucose is actually gonna be stored in your liver, as well as muscles in a form of glucose called glycogen. Now, these glycogen stores are depleted when you're on keto. There's simply not enough glucose for it to really store, right? I mean, it's 20 grams of carbs a day, what do you expect? So when those glycogen stores are depleted, a hormone called glucagon is actually increased and it's beginning to be secreted into your body. So glucagon is a hormone that when it is secreted, it actually initiates and triggers the breakdown of ketones. Now, obviously ketones allows you to stay in the metabolic state of ketosis. So once you reach 20 grams of carbs a day, in about three to four days, your body is gonna be in ketosis. And this means that there are very, very low levels of circulating glucose in your bloodstream. And your body is now using ketones as its main energy source. This is where alcohol comes in. Now we all know that the liver helps metabolize alcohol, it detoxes your body, and that is its main goal. But when you consume alcohol, it actually decreases the secretion of glucagon, which means it also decreases the body from breaking down fat into ketones. And what this means for you if you are following a keto lifestyle is that it completely pauses ketosis. It doesn't stop ketosis or completely takes you out of ketosis, but it does pause ketosis. Everyone talks about eating a high carb meal before you drink because this high carb meal is gonna allow your body to have just enough glucagon to be able to help the alcohol metabolize correctly. But on keto, no ma'am, no sir. You have <laughs> nothing there to buffer the effects of that alcohol. And this is what it means. It means number one, ketosis is paused. Number two, you're gonna experience a buzz much quicker. And number three, you are going to experience sometimes 
a hangover that is hard to shake. So there are things that you need to do to make sure that you can enjoy alcohol the same way you would keto and non-keto. Let's talk about that. Okay, so you're on keto. You are, you know, you're at home. You were thinking about having a couple of glasses of wine or your friends call and they're like, hey, we wanna, you know, hang out for a little bit. And you're like, y'all, I'm on keto. And I gotta watch my carbs. I gotta watch my alcohol intake. You're like, what can I do? This is what you do. Number one, you eat regardless. Eat, if you know you're gonna be out one night, then you probably need to consume as many of the carbs that you're gonna eat that day closer to the time that you are gonna be going out. With that being said, you also want to make sure that you drink lots of water and consume a ton of electrolytes. So for me, that means either putting some pink Himalayan salt in my water or just drinking a Gatorade Zero to get some of those electrolytes to help buffer any effects of the alcohol later on. The other thing is you want to make sure you're consuming alcohol that has fewer calories and obviously very few to zero carbs. This way you are not only allowing yourself to stay in ketosis, you're also not going over your caloric intake and using calories in a way that your body can't use for necessary energy, okay? All right, so let's break that down even further. So alcohol is technically an energy source. And what I mean is that you have calories in alcohol and calories are energy. So you wanna make sure any of the calories that you consume on keto, you can effectively use for energy. For alcohol, not really. They're empty calories. You can't really use them as an effective energy source. So you still wanna make sure that you are looking at the amount of calories that you're consuming, whether it's alcohol, food, whatever the case is. But in this case, alcohol. Okay fam, now that you know the science behind alcohol and ketosis and staying in ketosis and still maintaining your keto lifestyle, let's talk about some of my favorite types of alcohol to consume and what I tend to do to make sure that I am enjoying my life and I am being mindful of the fact that I am living a keto lifestyle. So first and foremost, any type of liquor, any type of spirit, you can consume on keto. So that means tequila, whiskey, rum, vodka, gin, any of those hard liquors you can have on keto. They have absolutely no carbs. And what I tend to do is find a really, really good mixer to allow myself, because I'm not trying to take shots all the time, but enjoy, you know, some alcohol. I need something to mix it with. And that can be the hardest part, but there are a ton of things that you can use. So I look for the skinny syrups. Now you can order these online as well, but I find most of mine at TJ Maxx. They are mostly zero calories and zero carbs. And you can have a margarita mix, you can have random like, you know, frou-frou mixes that are like these bougie mixes. And you can enjoy your glass of whatever with these skinny mixes. I absolutely love them. I also use Zero Sugar Minute Maid. So the Pink Lemonade, Mango Passion, Fruit Punch, I mix that as well. And then a lot of times what I would do is top my mixed drink with a hard seltzer, which brings me to hard seltzers. Hard seltzers are like the thing now, right? You can find these anywhere. And most beer companies have come out with their own version of a low carb or zero carb hard seltzer. I am a big fan of Truly, and I'm a big fan of Corona hard seltzers and Scoffball, amazing. So, but there's tons, tons others. You have Coors, um, you have White Claw, but like there's a ton of other hard seltzers that you guys can enjoy on keto. And these you can drink alone, you can use it um, to mix with um, hard liquor, kind of make, use it like a club soda. So any of your hard seltzers are allowed on keto. Now, my favorite, favorite thing to drink on keto is wine. 
And it's not that I like to drink it because I'm on keto. It's the simple fact that I love wine. Um, I actually have a new IG page called Wine Life is Sunny. And I just take you with me as I try new wines. I try to tell you about the wines, how, what to pair those wines with, um, the carb content, how the wine feels on your palate. I try to take you on an experience with these wines. Um, but I have found some amazing wines that are pretty low carb that you can enjoy while on keto. So when it comes to wine and keto, there are a couple things to keep in mind. The drier, the better. The drier the wine is, the fewer carbs that wine has. And a lot of your white wines are going to have fewer carbs than your red wines per five to six ounces. So Savion Blanc, Chardonnay, Pinot Gris, Pinot Grigio, Chenin Blanc, all of those white wines are going to have very few carbs, usually less than three carbs per five to six ounces. And if you're feeling frisky, Champagne and Prosecco are gonna have very few carbs. So a lot of times I find myself just getting a glass of champagne and getting a nice buzz and feeling good and not using a ton of carbs for that day. And I mean, we need to celebrate life right now, so I encourage you to buy as much champagne and as much sparkling wine as you can handle. As far as red wines are concerned, it is the same thing, the drier the better. So you're gonna wanna stick with your Merlots, your Cabernet Sauvignons, your Pinot Noirs, Malbec, which is my favorite Malbec. I always say it wrong, but I say a lot of words wrong, so I don't even worry about it anymore. Um, and tons others. So hopefully this video has helped you guys out and has given you peace of mind and that you can enjoy wine and alcohol and seltzers and beer on keto. But you have to be mindful of the simple fact that you will get a buzz much quicker. The hangover may be a little more extensive and probably a lot harder to shake. And three, you still need to understand your caloric intake when consuming alcohol. But if you take all of those things into consideration, I promise you, you will be able to celebrate life, be able to enjoy a glass of wine, a mixed drink, and not feel not social. We're social beings. We all love to be able to go out, even introverts. You still want to, if you're at home by yourself, you want to enjoy a glass of wine, do it. The goal is to do it responsibly. The goal is to enjoy it. And the goal is to have fun in life. All right, guys, so I hope this breakdown has helped you understand that, yes, you can enjoy alcohol on keto. And I hope you enjoyed this first video in my new series, Solar Eclipse. There is so much more to come. Can't wait for you guys to continue on this journey with me. Have a beautiful day.